Revelation is a warning in the beginning to the seven churches. It's a warning to the seven churches that already existed. And one of the warnings is, you've done all these things, but I have one thing against you. You've done everything right, but I have one thing against you. You have forgotten your first love. You can't even remember what it's like to love Jesus how you did when he first met with you. That was a warning. That was a warning because the Lord operates through passion. He operates through the love that you have for him. Because how can you bring the love of Christ to the world if you don't even love him? How can you do that? You're not even burning for him. It's like what he talked about when you first met your wife or you first met your husband and you were so in love with them. You were so excited to talk to them. You were excited to see them. You were excited to be with them. We've all been there. Amen? Does everyone know what it's like to fall in love? We've been there. And when you have that, it's like you can't, you can't wait to be with them. You can't wait to talk to them. You can't wait to talk about them. You're excited. Amen? It's the same with the Lord. Amen. So this real God, this, the Lord said, like, speak to the people about the real God, because I'm telling you now, I, I, I believe true humility in your walk with the Lord is when you say, Lord, <laughs> I want to make sure that whatever I'm doing is really you. Like, I want, I don't want to miss you. I don't want to miss what you're doing. I don't want to miss, you know, thinking that I'm doing what you want me to do, but it's not really what you want me to do. And when that starts happening, and Christian was also talking about this, when you stop hanging out with people that are on fire and other people's opinions and ideas start coming into your life, that's when you start losing that passion. It's true, right? Because you start sharing with people. You're like, man, Jesus did this thing for me. It was so awesome. You know, and, and then this is the response from people. Oh, right. Or they're just like, uh, because they don't know what that is. They don't know what that's about. They've never experienced that. So you, you need to testify, but you need to surround yourself with people that are on fire. Amen. Because you need to feed that fire. You need people to help feed your fire. You need people that are on fire for the Lord in love with Jesus be around you so that that fire keeps burning. Amen. And then you're going to keep knowing him like you did when you first caught fire. Amen. 